Hi, I'm Kurt Coles, uh, Coles Dairy Farm from Gillette, Wisconsin. Uh, my daughter, Michelle, who is fourth generation. The farm was established in 1944. We milked primarily 320 cows and farm around 1,300 acres. We've been uh, using Bomatic equipment since probably 1985. Uh, currently milking in a double 12 uh, parallel parlor. It works very nice. We're using the Rapid Exit uh, milking parlor. We've been working with Krieger's Bomatic from Clintonville primarily since the beginning. The reason we use uh, the new real-time activity system is because we've also used the activity system that uh, incorporated the leg bands which worked very well and now we have rumination. We really like working with Bomatic, so we went with Bomatic and happy, happy about it. The main advantage of going to the, uh, the collars opposed to the leg bands is because we also have rumination now and some other cool things. As far as I can say, as of now, we're very satisfied with the system. Um, would I do it again? Yes. And I would recommend it to other farmers, so. Anybody wants to come and look at it, I'm happy to show it. Uh, we've been using DairyCom 305 for quite a while and uh, it also worked out that the Bomatic system and the 305 system works very well together. I'm very happy with the way they, way they work. The new Bomatic system is very easy to work with. You uh, can log in and be on the system within uh, five, six seconds. Uh, hit another button, within another five or six seconds, you had a list of cows in heat cows that aren't eating well or cows that are maybe lying too long. All your information is at your fingertips within, I would say 10, 15 seconds, you know what you want to know. And it's right there in front of you. Um, usually I, when I punch in the morning, the first thing I do is check the, um, the system and I find any cows in heat, figure out when they have to be bred that day. I'll go through any of the, the health attention list and figure out why maybe the cow is on the health attention list. Then I'll go through a suspicious list and see maybe if anybody needs any attention there and then go about my daily stuff and then usually midday I'll check it again and see if there's any cows that need to be bred or when they need to be bred or anything like that and then usually I check it again before I punch out and see if any need to get bred that next morning they're just coming into heat. Kind of the first thing we notice is how we manage cows a little different. So instead of visually finding cows or that are sick or maybe waiting until they're off feed or clinically sick or down on milk, we'll um, find them early in the system and then um, usually it catches them right away and uh, before we can see it, any of their clinical signs. Um, cows in heat too uh, helps a lot too that we can um, breed them 12 to 18 hours after their first sign of, of uh, activity instead of just guessing when uh, they first got into heat. So. I wouldn't rate myself the best at tech savvy skills, honestly, um, but um, the Bomatic real-time system is really easy to get uh, used to. And any question really that you have, they'll call you right back and let you know what you're doing wrong maybe, or but a lot of it is self-explanatory. The system has surprised us actually in how well it works because we had a cow, 1324, that for a week she was down on the health attention list and we couldn't see anything wrong with her. She really wasn't. It just kept showing that she had lower rumination, but not extremely lower and just a little bit higher lying time. We didn't see anything and then finally it took a week for her to actually show clinical signs and go down in milk. So I wonder if I would have actually like acted on what the system was telling me if she would have never even gone down in milk. So I should have trusted it. After we got the real time system, we um, got rid of our breeder and tail chalker. So now we save money on his fees. We save money, um, on cows that maybe they were getting bred at the wrong time that weren't um, getting pregnant. Um, we save on tail chalk because he used to come and tail chalk the heifers and now we put collars on the heifers and then uh, we just go off the heat system for them too so we catch a lot of heifers in heat with that. So it saves time too, we don't got to run through the heifers and tail chalk them every day. Um, we have the collars on animals in three different barns. So we have an uh, antenna in this free cell barn, and we have one in the heifer barn, and we also have one in the dry cow barn. So we're at, all of our animals are getting monitored. Yeah, our conception rate went up too after we um, switched this system because we can um, inseminate animals right when they're supposed to be ovulating. So it's just a little more accurate, and it's a little more peace of mind to know that we're breeding animals when they're supposed to get bred. On the computer system, there is a, a timeline that 
is a countdown basically and it'll tell you right when the cow came into heat and it'll give you the perfect window to breed her. So you have what, 12 to 18 hours? So it'll tell you right in that, that little timeline when you're supposed to breed her. This system probably has saved us time and labor in the aspect that we no longer have to have a breeder. Um, we can go about our daily tasks and still know that the system is monitoring our cows and that when we check into it, we can, we can trust that it's monitoring them right.